Whenever I think about street outlaws, the first car coming to mind is the Chevrolet Nova SS396. The SS is standing for Super Sport and the 396 is the cubic inch of the engine. So this engine is a massive engine, it's a 6.5 liter V8. And obviously we have tweaked it a little bit, such as, let's quickly go through everything. So for the upgrades and tuning, custom upgrades, we always start here by the conversion. So for this video, I actually kept in the stock standard engine. Uh, the reason being is, is that I've decided on my channel that I'm only going to do the stock standard engine tunes. If you want to see any other engine conversion, let me know in the comments below. I will do it with a smile and a video will be up within a week. Nevertheless, let's quickly go over to drivetrain. So we are still at rear wheel drive and for the aspiration we went to twin turbos. Let's quickly head back to the engine. We have literally installed everything till max uh, and what do you call it? But we did not install the oil coolers till max. Sorry guys, I'm bad at multitasking. Let's quickly just go to pistons, turbos, flywheel. Uh, intercooler and here you'll see the oil coolers I actually get it at stock so if we look at the uh, weight gain on the race one we only gain four kilowatts but if you look at the weight you're at the bottom left corner I don't know why my cursor is underneath the screen again but nevertheless at the bottom left corner look at weight we're at 1252 and we add like how much is that 18 kilograms we're four kilowatts so it's not worth it it's just adding more weight and we're not even getting that much power from it so for the platform and handling we obviously have got race brakes installed rally springs uh, for the front anti-roll bars we have got the race for the rear also race and we don't have any of these roll cages installed it just adds to weight so in real life please install it but in this game you don't have to and then obviously for the weight reduction we have race as well for the drivetrain, over here you guys can see race clutch, race transmission, which is the six-speed race transmission. For the driveline, it is the race one and the race diff. Going over to the tires, obviously we have got the drag tire compound, also known as slicks. For the front wheel, we are running the skinnies and at the back, the big brothers. Obviously, this car is rear-wheel drive, so we need to have more meat at the back. For the mags, you can literally put on any mags, just please make sure it's the lightest mags. For the rim size, we didn't do this, this just adds to a bunch of extra weight. And for the track width, we just installed the mags just to make it look a little bit more flasher. Flash, 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 whatever. So, going over to the aerodynamics, you can install it if you want to. I decided not to because it adds some weight. But for some weird odd reason, if I have to go to stock here, this adds weight. But this, I don't understand, maybe it's like some kind of carbon fiber or something? But yeah, it's, it's actually heavier to have the stock standard hood on. That's why I went with this one. Okay, so let's quickly jump into the tune. So because the car is rear-wheel drive, we have got the rear tire pressure at 1. And then obviously the front is all the way up. So the less the tire pressure is, it adds to more drag, which adds to more grip. The higher it is, it creates even less drag, but it also helps you in top end stability. Going over the gearing, you guys will see, when you take the original gearing for this car, it is a mess. The first gear, the second gear, it's the total biggest mess out of all of them, and even your top end speed is not that much. So you're with this tune over here, this should help you guys out a bunch, especially through the first and second gear. So going over to the camber, as you guys can see over here, our front camber is at 5 degrees. Reason being for this is because there is literally no power going to the front of the car. It is just rolling along the speed from the rear wheels. 
So what happens is if it's flush on the road, it actually causes more drag. So by tilting it up, there's going to be less tire on the road, which is going to give you better tons because less drag is involved. And for some reason, this car has got such a good suspension that even if the weight from the front goes to the back, we don't have to camber the rear wheels that much. So as you guys can see, it's 0.2 because as the back suspension compresses, the wheels will actually go from a, from a positive camber into a negative camber. So this will even it out. Then we have got 0, 0 to toes and for your uh, angle, it is at 7. Your anti-roll bar should be at stiff stiff. This is just going to help your body and your wheels and everything not to dangle too much around. Thing for the springs, here you guys can see the front springs are very very soft It's because this car likes to pop a wheelie So I'm actually trying to like uh, counter it by not trying to pop a wheelie And obviously by having a softer suspension with the gear shifts It's just a bit smoother than just actually like hitting it and going like a shock going through the car For the rear suspension as you guys can see it is pretty stiff It can go even stiffer but this is pretty good for the car For the ride height this car does not want to be low to the ground. It likes to be in the sky. I don't know why, but yeah, it really wants to be high as you guys can see. The front and the rear is at 26 and 26.2. For the damping, right over here, you guys can see the rebound stiffness for the front is 5.8. We can actually take it up a little bit if we're popping too many wheelies. But yeah, for now, we're okay here at 5.8. Okay, so nevertheless, for the rear, okay, so how it originally works is that your front rebound stiffness and your bump rear stiffness should be very similar. As you guys can see, we are a little bit off here by, give or take, 2 degrees, I would say, to going to 3 degrees, uh, but that's not too bad, they are very similar. And then the rebound rear and the bump front should be very similar as they are. Going over to aerodynamics, we didn't install any uh, any of those other bumpers or the wings and stuff, so we don't have this option. If you do have it though, just take it all the way down to speed, which is to the left. For the brakes, I just put it on 80%. I just don't like it if the wheels lock up too much. And for the differential, as you can see over here, your acceleration is at 80%. You can actually take it down. It is going to improve your times. So look here at the bottom left corner, you guys can see my time is 1.841, my 0 to 100, or 0 to 97 in this case. If I take it to 75, it goes to 1.795. If I take it to 70, okay, now it's going up again. <laughs> so according to this, this will be the best setting to choose it on. But I've actually tried it out. I placed it on 100% and on 40%. Your exit trap speed for the 400 meters is exactly the same. The biggest thing is, is that will influence you here, is that if you do those drag races, the specific drag races, you initially want to drop your acceleration a bit because you're going to be launching from full acceleration. Like, well, let's say the car goes up to 8,000 RPMs, it's going to launch at 8,000 RPMs, like a red line launch. So you initially want to take this down maybe, or you want to take your first gear uh, and make your second gear, well, make your first and second gear a bit longer. But nevertheless, we're going to keep it here at 75. So let's quickly head to the road and see what this car can do. I do know what's up with this. Every time I want to do my races, it is literally raining. So let's quickly go do the drag race first because then there won't be any rain. So here we go. So let us quickly run over the difficulty settings. As you guys can see here, we've got traction control off, stability off, manual with clutch. You can actually keep your traction control on, on this specific race, because your car is going to spin. The traction control might actually help you a bit. And once again, just to let you guys know, you can either, either take your differential down to like 40 or 30%, or you can make your first and second gear a bit longer, just to get better times in this drag racing. But just to let you guys know, I did not tune the car for this drag race. I tuned it for the 400 meter pools on the normal roads, where you can just go and play with your friends. Nevertheless, let's quickly do this. Goodness, we're actually doing 
pretty good here. Well, while it was a very good launch. Oh, we are leaving them. We're leaving them behind. There we go. See how we did. We we actually in first gear. Okay, that's bad. In first gear, if you guys actually look, if you go back in the video, you would see we were limiting that first gear. We went da ba ba. I think the reason why is just because the speedo doesn't show up so quick, so you're not 100% sure when to shift, but we're going to leave it right over here. I mean, I think this was the unstoppable difficulty, and we still walked out being first, so that is freaking amazing. Okay, so let's quickly see if the rain has stopped now. And that is a big fat no. So let's quickly just hold up so it can just dry out a bit. I believe the road still has a puddle or two. Well, there's one at the back. <laughs> but we can try this out. Let's quickly see if we can do a launch at 3000 RPMs. Okay, it does spin a little bit. This car doesn't really spin. What we're going to do is just heat it up a little bit. I think that should be more than enough. Let's just quickly line her up straight. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to do a 3000 RPM launch. Let's send it and see. Okay, we didn't spin too much in first or second. 238. Damn it. You know what, guys? I really, with this car, I really try to push it to 240 for this video. But I really struggled my butt off. But we got a 238 there. Which is not too bad. This guy wants to race a bit. Let me just drift. So, yeah, there we go. Leave me alone. <laughs> this is a stock standard motor. But nevertheless, guys, there we go. That was a 238 kilometer uh, per hour. Not miles per hour. Kilometers per hour going through. Nevertheless, guys, thank you so much. I do hope that this video helped everyone out. You guys want to see me race here? Let me quickly see if I can race them. Oh, we're going against a Volvo over here. Let's see if this guy's gonna wanna hook against me. Oh, oh, oh okay, he didn't go! I'm gonna be wasted by this supercar! <laughs> it's all about the fun, guys. The fun and giggles. Nevertheless, thank you so much for everyone watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a big... Wait, what? What? How did you get here? He just like teleported here. Is he pushing it? I'm not sure. Dude, that was crazy. I, I think he is pushing it. I'm not sure. Okay, nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the logo at the bottom right corner if you would like to support the channel. If you want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you want to see one of my most recent videos, <laughs> what the heck is going on? Hit the icon at the right hand side. And I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, <laughs> peace out everyone.